Morning, fuckers. I got a video of Pee Wee German. Stephen Miller, one of the architects of Project 2025, dropping facts on a reporter. And then when the reporter challenges him, he loses his fucking mind. Check this out. What will happen? All these. Day one. All, yes, all these criminal migrants that have been flooded in the country are going to be the first to get thrown out of here. I mean, you, you've seen case after case, these heartbreaking tragedies. Those ones are going to get found and deported first. And look at this, this Venezuelan gang. You have a Venezuelan gang that is taking over entire apartment buildings in Aurora, Colorado. Why is he so sweaty? Ew. And that's responsible, by the way, for some of the most heinous crimes that have happened all over the United States. The crime rate in Venezuela is down, I believe, a little bit over 60%. Over the last several years. Are you trusting the official figures from the Venezuelan dictatorship? Let's put it this way. If you're a dictator of a poor country with a high crime rate, wouldn't you send your criminals to our open that, border? That wasn't my question. Are but you my, trusting my, the figures of the dictatorships? Those, those are Maduro, Maduro numbers. Maduro numbers. Maduro numbers. Maduro numbers. I am believing that it is in the interest of a criminal dictator to let his criminals out of their jails and come to our country. Do you have numbers, real numbers? No, they're numbers. numbers. The, 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 the Venezuelan gangs, that have, you, you've seen the CCTV footage. I have a question. Who do you think? Answer me this. My family is from Venezuela. Yes, I know very well the situation of Caracas and many other cities. Right, tell me, who were the people with the high-powered rifles in the hallway of that apartment building? Who were they? They were gangs from Venezuela. Right. No American community. But I was asking to you about figures, numbers, what I'm facts. What i to you is the facts are the dead bodies. The facts are... You said that Caracas has a lowest crime the rate than are, the USA. The facts are the mutilated bodies. The facts are the people in the morgues that are dead. I was asking you about Caracas and the numbers in Caracas. Are you trusting the numbers of the dictatorship? To, I am to trusting state the state? fact that Kamala Harris is letting yelling? illegal immigrants into this country who are raping and murdering children. I, I had been very respectful. Know, Why are you yelling? Know, do you know who Jocelyn Hungary is? Do you know who she is? Do you know how Tell many who people is. Who is, is experiencing is violence she? in Caracas? Who is she? Who is Lake and Riley? Why are who you is yelling she? again? Because I'm yelling because children are being raped and murdered. I was just asking for figures, immigrants. and you have not children replied to me about those figures. And murdered. Do you know who Kayla Hamilton is? Do you trust is? the numbers of Nicolas Maduro and Maskin again? I trust a ruthless dictator will empty his prisons and send their criminals to our country. So you trust his numbers? The most, the most dangerous gang in Venezuela is Do you now trust Nicolas Maduro? I trust that he does not want his criminals to be. So you believe in his numbers? I believe he's sending his criminals to our country. Do, do you, you think not, that the crime rate in Venezuela not, have decreased? Do you not believe the law enforcement reports of Venezuelan gangs in this country? I was asking for are the Venezuelan, Venezuelan gangs, government are figures, Venezuelan not the figures here. Or not? Are Venezuelan gangs in this country or not? Yes or no? What yes or are no? the figures yes no? that you yes say no? to say yes that no? in, in Caracas yes the no? number is lower than in the gangs, USA? Are Venezuelan gangs in this country or not? So you don't have numbers? Are Venezuela? You know who has numbers? The Department of Homeland Security. You can ask Mayorkas for numbers. You can ask the Director Ray for the numbers. Sir, I'm telling you. You said you that, that in Nicholas Venezuela Maduro, the crime rate is lower than because, the USA. Yes, because what the are your are numbers? Here That's now. my question. Because the criminals are here now. Those are Maduro's numbers. I can tell you again. That border patrol agents are encountering Do thousands of you trust of Maduro numbers. numbers? I trust the border agents in our country. But and I am not saying that Caracas has a lower crime rate. Children are dead, and you are wasting my time. No, I am not children wasting your time. I'm asking for facts as a journalist. Do you have any remorse for the dead children? Do you care at all about the dead children? Absolutely. Then that's what I want to leave you with: is that Donald Trump I will was come just to asking office. for figures. Here's what's going to happen. Donald Trump is going to be elected president, and the migrant gangs are going to be sent home. Children's lives will be saved. And you know who will benefit the most? Are the working class Hispanic communities that are besieged by gang violence? So you don't have public years. schools that are being overtaken by migrant gangs. You have MS-13 that is brutalizing children. You have Kayla Hamilton, who was a 20 year old autistic girl who was raped and murdered, beaten to death. That will end, that will stop, and our children's lives will be saved. That is the most virtuous thing that can possibly be done. We are going to save the lives of our children. We will not let Kamala Harris condemn them to a life of misery, suffering, and death. Thank you. I have not replied my question. Pee Wee Goebbels, such a pussy.